In 2008, Egypt criminalized female genital mutilation for non-medical purposes. But statistics show that the majority of Egyptian women and girls still undergo the procedure. FGM, also known as cutting and female circumcision, is the removal of some or all of the external female genitalia. The first demographic scan made in preparations for the first Beijing conference in 1984 showed the rate was 98 percent. In 20 years, it should have reached 50 or 40 percent. I think it's a catastrophe when doctors graduate from medical school and no one says a word about FGM. Despite these staggering numbers, very few violations are reported. And of those, the cases that make it to court are almost negligible. Experts say the government's attempt to introduce harsher punishments isn't enough to curb the practice. Customs and traditions that date back thousands of years won't be resolved by laws. Legislation is important, yes. We need more awareness, something that would encourage a nine-year-old girl to say no to her parents, something that allows her to report the matter to the police. We are introducing a law that no one outside of the cities in Egypt will be aware of. One woman told me that many people believe these laws are only applicable in Cairo. The new legislation proposes a sentence of five to seven years for those convicted of performing non-medical FGM procedures. In cases of permanent damage or death, the punishment increases to as much as 15 years behind bars. That's for both parents and the medical professional. When divided into smaller age groups, research shows that the rate of female genital mutilation drops to 61%. While it's still an alarming number, it shows progress. Experts hope that by introducing awareness in schools, these rates could drop even more. Adel Mahrouhi, CCTV, Cairo.